A lot of airsofters know that FPS isn't everything when it comes to their gun's performance. However, a lot of people really get screwed up when it comes to knowing what joule creep is. A joule is a unit of kinetic energy. What this means is that you can take any object, take that object's mass, take it times that object's velocity, divide that number by two, and you get the number of joules uh, that object has, or how much energy that object has while it's in motion. Joule creep in airsoft happens when you have a gun shooting light BBs at, let's say, one joule, but when you put heavier BBs in it, it shoots more joules than one joule. Joule creep happens in guns where there's extra air behind a light BB. That light BB accelerates quickly down the barrel before that extra air can act on it. When you put a heavier BB in that same gun, uh, it has more inertia, and uh, it will take more time to accelerate. That extra acceleration time lets that extra air act on that heavier BB and so that extra air isn't wasted. Joule creep happens a lot in gas blowback rifles and pistols. It can also happen in overvolumed uh, AEGs and also in Polar Star style guns. Now let's say you're shooting 350 FPS with a .20 gram BB. That means you're shooting about one joule. But let's say you stick .4 gram BBs in your gun and you start shooting 1.5 joules. That means that you're taking advantage of joule creep. This isn't always a good thing to do when it comes to certain fields rules. Uh, one of the fields where I like to go a lot, Kalamazoo Airsoft, they don't have an FPS limit per se, they have a joule limit of about one joule. For example, a .20 gram BB traveling at about 350 feet a second is going to be about one J or one joule. In comparison, a .3 gram BB traveling at the same velocity is going to have a considerable amount more energy. To see Joule Creep in action, I've taken some video of me chronoing my gas blowback WE416. So you just saw Joule Creep in action. The only thing that changed there was the weight of the BBs. If you looked not just at the FPS but at the Joule readings, you would have seen it right away. But I'm going to recap this anyway. I was shooting about 1.7 joules to 1.8 joules on the .20 gram BBs, uh, about 430, 440 feet per second. However, when I switched to the .30 gram BBs, I was shooting more around 390 to 400 feet per second, but I was at 2.2 joules. What this means is that that BB has more energy. So I was increasing my joules by about 0.4 to 0.5 J. That doesn't sound like a ton of energy, and in the grand scheme of things it's not, but when it comes to airsoft BBs, that can mean quite a big difference. So that's pretty much the definition of joule creep right there. You get more kinetic energy when you use heavier BBs as compared to when you use lighter BBs. There's lots of advantages to using heavier BBs, uh, especially like in field games. In CQB, you might lose a little bit of an edge with that um, time it takes from your BB to go from your gun to the target, but when you're playing at range uh, of uh, 150 feet or more, heavier BBs easily take the day. That's it. I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, if you have any questions, I recommend you get on a good forum like Airsoft Mechanics. There's lots of good people uh, there that'll explain this stuff to you in further detail. Have a good time teching.